Ben and Jerry went on HuffPost Live recently, and they discussed an awesome product that may or may not be coming out soon. I've got a comment coming Stop from one of our viewers. I'm sorry, sorry I'm, I'm multitasking here. So Jeremy Simpson well. says Ben and Jerry should totally do a cannabis edibles flavor available wherever legal, of course. Thoughts on that? Makes sense to me. You know, uh, combine your pleasures. Uh... Uh, you know, I, Jared's I, not so sure. Well, you We're know, I, legal. We, uh, Come you on, know, Colorado ben, would love it. Ben and I uh, have had previous experiences, uh, you know, with uh, substances, and uh, you know, I think legalizing marijuana is a wonderful thing, rather than putting people in jail for not hurting anybody else. And I'm very supportive of that. So, are they going to do it? Are they going to do a weed flavor if we get a little bit more movement on the legal front? Maybe. I don't know. They left, kind of left the door open there. One was for it. The other one was, eh. A little bit of time, man. Keep pushing them. Keep pushing them. We might get there. So if they do that, we would have, up to this point, weed pizza sauce. We covered a story on that recently. That's awesome. But anything with pizza is awesome. Uh... Weed lube. Oh. That could be fun. That could be fun. Weed coffee. Again, a little, little upper downer mix, maybe, if you do a little indica and do a little coffee. And uh, now we might have Ben and Jerry's weed cream. I'm sure they'd come up with a more fun sounding name than that. But that would be awesome, man. I, God, I love so much. The industries that can open up if you legalize, tax, and regulate. And this goes across the board, man, for all these different drugs. I mean, I know that some of them are so thoroughly and heavily demonized that it'll take forever to change uh, the collective culture's mind on them, right? It'll be a long time until you can go to a cocaine bar, right? And then have an awesome night. But we're working on it. We're chipping away. I think over time we can change the minds, even on the harder drugs, but it will take a while. But look at the things that happen when you allow all these brand new industries. They're booming industries, and there's all these great ideas that come out of nowhere. Weed pizza sauce, weed lube. I mean, it, it, these are multi-billion dollar industries that are just waiting to explode. I mean, think about it like if caffeine uh, was illegal. And then overnight, we made it legal. And then you have a gigantic industry, multi-billion dollar industry propping up. You got Starbucks, you got all the other places where you can get coffee, all the convenience stores where they sell it. You went from nothing to multi, multiple billions of dollars overnight. But that also exists for the drugs that are illegal now. I mean, if you can sell Monster Energies and Red Bulls and caffeine and Xanax and alcohol and all these things and they're tremendous industries and they're such a big part of our economy why not go a little further and add some weed in there why not truly embrace the idea of freedom and liberty and get to a place where we really do have enough freedom where you can get weed ice cream or weed pizza sauce that's a society i want to live in man i want to live in that society where there's more jobs and more prosperity and more high and happy people I don't believe the propaganda that, you know, everybody's going to get addicted if they do any drug. It's all bad for you across the board. Wrong. Dr. Carl Hart, who's an expert on this, says that it's only 10 to 20% of people for all the different drugs that end up getting addicted. Now, by the way, is that a lot? Yes, that's a lot. But nobody even considers for a split second that we should go back and ban alcohol because 10 to 20% of people who drink alcohol are alcoholics. We all understand that, uh, dude, that's par for the course. I'm not going to stop myself having two or three Coronas three or four times a week uh, because you can't handle your shit. That doesn't make any sense. So there's this all or nothing attitude with certain drugs, but with other drugs, it's the opposite. And that's all because our culture has biased us. Well, now it's great that we're finally moving in the other direction and we're becoming more liberal and more open-minded with other substances. And this is a symptom of it right here. And it is a delicious symptom. Possibly... Ben and Jerry's weed ice cream.